you know what? After doing this review of these shoes, I don't really think I need them anymore. I think I'm just gonna make them disappear. On second thought, I think I actually want them back. Just kidding. Definitely keeping these. What's up and welcome back to Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end as well as don't forget to leave me comments if you have any questions about this third and final episode in our Dior Jordan series. Man, time has flown by. I can't believe we're already on our third video. But also, don't forget to hit those notifications. We've got so much heat coming in for you guys in the next few weeks. It's just insane how much filming is gonna have to happen. But I'm extremely excited, extremely to show you guys all the things I was able to cop these past few weeks. Uh, but today is basically our last and final episode of the Dior Jordan series. And I'm gonna be talking about different items and accessories that you could could potentially rock with some of the collection and if you didn't get the collection I'm actually gonna go through and talk to you about some items that are much easier that are still on sale in the market for a more affordable price point that maybe are not the exact Dior Jordan shoes but you know they've got some tones some similarities in there and then I'm going to get into some other options of clothing apparel in the Dior collection because as you guys know this was a pretty limited capsule so there weren't a lot of items made, so I definitely want to give you guys some ideas if you're Dior fans on other options that are currently available as well. And also, we'll talk a little bit about resell on some of the accessories that I got for that Dior Jordan collection. So let's get into it. First, I'm going to start off with actually grabbing some shoes that I think are, you know, obviously not as fire as the Dior Jordans, but hey, they could come in potentially a close second. So I've done a video actually recently on the Metallic Silver Tokyos for the Air Jordan 1 High. So if you haven't watched that video for a more in-depth review, don't forget to go back and check that video out. As well as if you're looking for a review on the Air Jordan 1 lows in the Dior Jordan collab capsule collection, go back to my first video for that in-depth unboxing. And also I pulled out some racer blues and this has zoom in it as well. So we're going to go through these three shoes and I'm going to kind of put them side by side so you guys can actually see them. The thing I like about these options is that share some similar gray tones and you know this is a very neutral subdued colorway that they selected for this dior jordan collab and the thing i like about the racer blue is it definitely brings out some of those great light grays but obviously you know it comes with a little bit of funkier laces you've got hot pink and white but also, you know, if you want to make it more similar to the Dior Jordan shoe, you can also get similar laces to this and put those on the racer blues. And, you know, I've seen some pretty creative people out there. They've been actually <laughs> figuring out ways to put this Dior monographic logo on the swoosh. But, you know, there's just something I like about these racer blue zooms. I mean, they're just literally are clean and you know this is a high top version i obviously got these in the lows so for me this was like a win in getting a high top version in a sense obviously without that dior oblique logo going on there uh but um oh you know what i'm just realizing too is the bottom sole of these shoes are pretty similar there's a little bit of pink in here but it's like wow these icy tones are pretty much identical except for some of the pink 
hues at the top of this shoe. But other than that, that's pretty much spot on. The bottoms look exactly the same. All right, so another one of my options, you know, it's definitely a little bit different with the metallic going on, but you know, it's still got some of those gray neutral tones. Again, this is in a high version. So, you know, I think this is me just kind of filling the gap of me losing um, and not getting the high tops. But, you know, this is definitely a different option and it's got some similar characteristics, a little bit lighter in the laces. But again, if you want it to be closer in detail to this specific shoe, you can always go out and find laces to match it better. Okay, so let me just move these actually back out of the way so we have more room to work with here. Put these guys back in their place. Also, if you do choose those options, even on the resale market, you're going to save a lot of money in comparison to these. Definitely not going to resell them for the same price point, but you know, better to have something than nothing, as I always say. Okay, let's get into the accessories. So I was actually able to cop a necklace from the Dior Jordan capsule and it came in this amazing Rubik's Cube box. So I'm gonna give you guys kind of that look to see what the box looks like. Let's open it up for you. Look how dope that is. Like, is that not the coolest box you've ever seen? <laughs> just like I don't know I guess maybe I got it for just the box no just kidding guys definitely got it for what's inside the box and so you know this is definitely just a really chill cool necklace I like that the wings aren't like overbearingly big but it's not too small to the point where it's like what is that so this necklace also came in a gold version. It was a little too of a, too much of a bright gold for me. So that's kind of why I stuck with the silver, but I do like to typically match my silver and golds. And it also has on the back that Dior pattern there. You can see that. So if you weren't able to get your hands on one of these necklaces, that's okay. Cause I'm going to give you another option that I think is just as good. So obviously we know that Alix has done collabs with Dior and I was actually able to snag an Alix chain necklace. This reminds me of a lot of his collaborations he did with Dior because obviously he's known for this buckle here. But, you know, I got this for a great price point. I got it on sale. So definitely saved a huge chunk of change there. You know, it may not be Dior exactly, but it definitely gives that same vibe. And I feel like it's just as good, especially if, you know, you don't want to spend that crazy amount of money on something, but you want it to kind of have the same effect. I think this is definitely a secondary option in place of that necklace to kind of just have a little nice silver bling to it. Okay, so now we're going to move on and talk about this cute little Air Dior bag from the collection. Open it up. So it comes with this awesome strap right here and it just says Christian Dior on it nice and engraved this bag did come in two colors it came in like a heather gray but for me personally light bags are just a no-no I feel like I'm gonna set it down and it's gonna get stained so definitely navy was my pick for this bag so we've just got you know like a nice little opening here Got that same print, looks like on the inside with the D's there that match that pattern on the swoosh on the shoe, just in a darker color. And then my favorite part about this bag is that it's got an area to hold your cards. So you don't actually need a wallet with this bag. It's so cool. Let me just pull that out so you can get a closer look. You can put your money in here literally is a wallet that is built inside of the bag, which is great. So again, 
this was a very limited capsule and you know this may have been a little bit pricier just based on the fact that it was a collab and you know not all of us maybe loved this bag maybe you're more of a dior fan so i'm going to give you a couple options in the bag range i also have this amazing saddle bag here and this is definitely still available in the dior men's collection and this is probably just one of my favorite bags i mean it pretty much goes with everything and I do think that, you know, if you weren't able, for instance, to cop this Air Dior bag, this is definitely just a great option. I mean, it basically holds the same amount of items in it, maybe a little less actually. And you definitely, you don't get the card space in there like a wallet, but definitely enough to carry in there in a great size. It's still kind of keeping in that size range as this bag is. And overall, yeah, it's just something that is currently available. So if you want to add some extra Dior to your collection, I think this is a great option. All right. So last, let's just go over to here and talk about two more items. So I actually have another Alix belt and a lot of these saddlebags, actually, they try and sell the Alix um, clip as well with this strap. Not a Dior collab, but I think it works just as good. So, you know, I like to mix and match and switch this up on that bag, but I also like to wear this as a belt with some of my clothing as well. So this is definitely a great accessory to add with either anything from this capsule or just any Dior or any basic item just to kind of spruce it up. And last but not least is this lovely massive bag. This is like my throw everything in it bag, travel bag, you name it. This is just a great bag. If you literally are traveling and you just wanna throw as much stuff as you possibly can inside of a bag and have it basically carry everything. This has definitely been a savior, but I think that this bag also just goes really well with this collection. It's got the navy and cream colorways in it. So if you weren't able to, you know, snag a bag and you're hoping to get a Dior bag, I think that this by far is one of my all time favorite bags in the Christian Dior women's collection. I just absolutely love this bag. I take it everywhere. Um, but other than that, guys, that is the accessory portion. So now we're going to kind of get into the other styling items that I paired with. So if you weren't able to snag anything from that collection, I want to give you some other options in the uh, men's Dior collection that are available from different designers. So let's go over that rack and get into it. Talk about some styling. <laughs> So as you guys can see, I usually typically wear something from my styling portion. I'm obsessed with Cause. If you are a fan of Cause, you definitely know that he recreated this cute little bee. And it's also on this shirt and a more bedazzled look. But I just love how, you know, he really just changed the bee and made it subtle with these two X marks. Just a hint for you guys, my nickname is Honeybee. Honeybee. So, some significance with this little bee guy here. Maybe that's why I love it so much. But, you know, if you weren't able, for instance, to get the Dior sweater and this cream, well, guess what? We got a cream sweatshirt in the cause pattern with the bee and I think you know it's definitely slightly different obviously you're not going to have that hype of the air Dior but you know I think this is a great cute Dior short short <laughs> this is a cute Dior sweatshirt wow guys it is Friday and I am beat like hallelujah it is Friday can't wait for this weekend uh, but I love this black sweatshirt because of this bright pink and it's almost like a carpet texture on here. I love just feeling this. Go on. I know this. I know what you're thinking. This looks like I'm touching myself in a weird way. Giggity, giggity, giggity. 
baby. But it's just very soft and cushion-like, so I love that material on there. Uh, and then last but not least, Chris Vanash, who was the men's creative director before Kim Jones. This is a hoodie that I have. It's, you know, nice and basic, but I do like that it has the Christian Dior Atelier on the side. And, you know, this is just kind of like a scuba gear material, simple black pattern. It's got like nice gray tones on the inside. And it's just a well-made, warm sweatshirt that really just goes with absolutely anything. And so whether or not you were able to cop something in the navy color in the Air Dior capsule, I do think that anything black in the Dior collection, men's collection goes great as well. So if you haven't noticed, I'm actually more obsessed with the men's line of Dior than I am with the women's line. I did get, you know, one item from there, but definitely steer more towards the men's clothing when it comes to Dior. And that's why I'm such a fan of this Air Dior capsule. Okay, so now we're gonna conclude with some resell on the accessories that I got, let you guys know how it's doing on the resale market. So if you're interested in just purchasing it because you love it, or if you just wanna see like how well they're doing, we'll get into that. So let's head over. All right, today's reselling portion is brought to you by my personal favorite app, the Suplex app. <laughs> Don't know what this app is get on your phone get on your pad get on your computer and download it immediately because it's going to save you time money frustration you name it this app legitimately has the top selling platforms in one space you don't have to go to each one individually i'm talking about ebay stock x stadium goods flight club and uh, which one did i miss goat <laughs> All of those platforms, it's so annoying to have to go to each one individually and Suplex has made it so simplified so that you can see it all in one place at the same time. So if you are looking to sell or buy sneakers or streetwear, clothing in general, they have the best app in order for you to do whatever it is that you wanna do in the streetwear sneaker world on one platform, which is insane. So that's where I pulled my numbers for today's accessory items. We are going to go through a few of them, including some ones that I don't have in front of me because I wasn't able to cop, including that bucket hat that I know that so many of us wanted, but they made such a limited amount. So let's start with the bag here. So this is actually going to retail uh, for 1600. That's how much it was to start, but currently it's selling for around 2000 to $2,100. And that's for both the navy and the gray. The gray is doing a little bit better by $100. There's a little bit of money to be made, but definitely not an insane amount on that. So we'll see with time if that increases or if it stays the same. So next we're gonna talk about this necklace here with the wings on it. So that retailed at 640 in the silver and it is currently going for the lowest ask around 850 and the highest ask is 2000. So could potentially be some money in there. We'll see, that's kind of a, a broad range, but not looking too bad at all. Next, let's talk about that bucket hat. So as you guys saw in one of my previous videos, I just wore a Stussy Nike collab bucket hat because I was unable to cop that 
bug it hat from the collection and uh, that currently was retailed at 420 but now it is going for a lowest ask of two thousand and eighty two dollars pretty crazy so now let's talk about the socks those retailed for around three hundred dollars and those are going currently for 523 not so bad for socks I'm almost gonna get going for double the amount that they went retail for and last we have the bandana that went for three hundred dollars retail and is now currently going for 608 that's insane my god 608 for a bandana I don't know if I would wear one that much but okay all right if you got a bandana you're lucking out there so uh, that is the resale portion today thank you so much suplex app for giving us all this amazing information and finding these numbers once again if you guys have not yet downloaded it download that suplex app and uh make your life easier so again guys thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today happy friday to all of you thank you so much again for joining me on this premiere this evening uh again we have so much heat coming out actually look at the wall guys let's play a little guessing game out of all these shoes what shoe would you guess would be my next unboxing so for all of you hardcore followers you will know which shoe i will be posting this coming week any guesses give you guys a moment to guess you want some Jeopardy music? Do, do, do. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. All right, so once again, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel, Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up at the end. Thanks again, guys. I know this was the third episode of the Dior Jordan series, and I'm so glad that you joined us for all three videos. If you have any questions about any of these accessories or even what you thought about the styling portion of this, let me know in the comments. And don't forget again, we have so much heat, so hit those notifications so you know as soon as we post a video. So until next time, we'll catch you guys all later.